Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Grimwit. This is Bloodlust. So, I'm going to change things around because I'm running out of good vampire flicks to recommend to you. But what I want you to do for me, if you feel so inclined, is I recall this vampire movie that I've always wanted to see again, but I only have seen it once, late night on USA, back in like the mid-90s. It was a vampire movie about like boy vampire and girl vampire and it was sort of, they, they couldn't be together for some reason that I can't remember. But what I do remember is how the film ended. It ended with both the boy and the girl vampire stepping out into the sunlight and being cooked, like completely turned in burned up in sunlight as skeletons but afterwards, the skeletons kissed. They were kissing vampire skeletons is what they were. And then the credits rolled. And I sat there, teenaged grimwit, with my jaw hanging open going, what did I just see? So, through the magic of the internet, please tell me what movie was that? Leave a comment or put something into something awful. I have to know which vampire movie was it. It looked like a Hammer film. Like one of those really cheesy shot on shittio films. And I, I don't know if it was. And I don't have time to watch all of them. Because I just picked up Forever Night again. Which is friggin great. I love that show. So if, if you know what vampire movie it is that ends with kissing vampire skeletons please tell me now i made a mistake i made two mistakes with hiring hank here the biggest mistake is um i didn't wait until everybody's votes came in and for that i apologize after all the votes were cast uh the consistent consensus was to have uh a woman vampire but instead I have Hank which is decidedly not a woman and I just realized has a black spot on the back of his hand I have no clue what that's about but I am willing to admit that I made a mistake and so we will make a compromise Hank is gay let's get into this and I don't know how long I'm going to be so I am going to set my timer now. And let's try to clear out at least one of these levels. Hank, I realize you're a gay vampire in a trilby. M'lady or m'gentleman, m'lord, yeah. <laughs> he, he is a gay vampire neckbeard. Awesome. This place is not, whoa, what? Well, there's the exit. Somebody's raising a ruckus. Hey, stop that. Oh my god. Hank, earn your keep. Hank, get in there. Thank you, Hank. What on earth was it? Oh, I have a goth vest. Can I wear it? I can. No, I can't. Oh, it's unidentified. Okay. I can wear it. I was hoping it would give me some extra places to to put inventory, but I guess not. I guess that's not a thing that's going to happen right now. Hmm. Okay, well. Uh, also, let's pull up a map real quick. We know where the exit is. That's okay. I want to finish. Uh, hi. Can, can I help? Whoa. Hank, you're supposed to be fighting. He also explodes. Hank, you're not a good fighter. I hope you make a better lover. Not for me, you understand, but for, for other reasons. More wooden stakes. Enhanced ring. Can I use this? Yes. <laughs> what is that? 
Oh, it's a mummy. Now it's a dead mummy. You may notice that I'm starting to gain back... Where's... Oh, there's Hank. I'm starting to gain back my, uh, my wooden stakes that I expend. Hey, Baco, what's up? What? You do just fight it out. Come on, Hank, make your first kill. There we go. It's about time. A sword stone? How to use? I guess you use this in swords? Straight out. Wow. Actually did some good. Hmm. Alright, well, that, that's neat. We can try it if you want, but don't bother trying any of that persuade stuff on me. Well, then. I don't do discounts, and I never pay it full price. Can I persuade you to show me the good stuff? Um. Never mind. I don't want to deal with that just yet. Try it if you want. Yeah, 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 just trade. Don't bother trying any of that. Teleport. Two floors higher. Might need that. Yeah. I want more inventory space. And I suspect I will get it from some kind of chest or belt thing. Unlock. Very complicated lock. I can do this. There we go. Firecracker and an unidentified necklace. Which we will identify immediately. Gold fine, max health. Nah. Hank, take care of that thing. Obey. Hank, set off that trap. Hank, set off that trap. Hmm. Can I make Hank set off that trap? Let's try this. Hank, set off that snake. Okay. Run if hurt. Yeah, I guess that'll be, that'll be fine for now. Hi. You can do it, Hank. I believe in you. Oh, Hank, you're not doing so good. You dead, Hank. <sighs> Hank, Hank, Hank. Oh no, the bomb broke. Wait, shouldn't that bomb have also have exploded? Yeah, bloodless logic. This really isn't that much different from a passage. We we really need to build you up, Hank. We need to get you some experience. Right right now, Nina is like 15 times the vampire you are. Good job, Hank. Your first kill. Wait, was that your first kill? I'm going to say it is, because I don't really think much of your limp wristedness. Not that I have anything about gays. I just have a thing about Hank. Hanky, panky, Hank. Ah, but he's still dapper looking. I can never be angry at you for too long, Hank. Tell me about your anime. Oh my god. Shadowweed. Also, I think we might be able to put this eye into something. How about her belt? Probably, probably should have put that in something else. What the thing scared me? Oh, great snake eye! I do not need snake eyes. Get out of here, snake eyes! Nobody loves you. Where the hell was I going? What? Oh, hey! Let's take a look at that real quick. Mina now has two victims. 
Jennifer and John. Nina apparently has something for uh, people with uh, a J in their name. I don't know. I can wear it. It's not very good defense. Or I could give it to the Forloras for six rep. We'll try to do that next time, so I'll keep that on me. Hank, you're cool. I'm going to give you that. You'd look great in a bar with a glass of whiskey in your hand. Well, a glass of blood in a whiskey glass. But you really need some help with the bad guys. We need to build you up. Maybe if Nina were here to kind of show you the ropes. That's right, Nina. Nina, you're going to have to train him for me. He's kind of beyond me right now, and I don't know if it's his five o'clock shadow... Or is that a neck? Yeah, it's his neck beard. I'm not sure if it's his neck beard, his trilby, or if he just can't see well because he's a fledgling with sunglasses on. But either way, you, you, you you're going to have to be the one that trains him. It's, it's your, your job. Do it. What? What's going on back here? Oh, never mind. Very good. I don't know which one of you did it, but uh, good job. Cool. All right. That's what I like to see. Ooh, a piercing. Oh, it's unidentified. But I can identify it now, and it gives me persuade. Let me sell you my children. One dollar for shadow weed? Feels like a jip. Hank, where's Nina? She's looting for me. She's a good looter, Hank. That's something else you need to learn. Ah, oh, hell. Uh, I think that's broke. I'm done looking for a good hat. I like the hat I got. Oh. You scared me, little guy. Delicious little guy. A steak shotgun? 66 dexterity. Okay, we're going to keep this handy. I believe this is... No, it's actually worse than my uh, than my current. Okay, a steak shotgun. Mmm. Ah oh, hell! Scared me. Plus three to firecraft. What do I have? I think this is going to be all right. And let me see real quick. Huh. Can I use this? Let's find out. Let's real quickly switch this to Firecraft. All right. Holy crap, I can now throw fireballs. Like, can I throw fireballs at Hank? Yes, I can. This is the best. All right, I guess on to the next one. What does he say when I put it in strength? I feel stronger. <laughs> I feel stronger. That's good. You're going to need that strength. Into the unknown we go. Actually, actually, I can now use this, baby. Fuck yes. Alright, let's go. Somebody wants my attention over here. Go on, attack it, Hank. Oh my god. Really, Hank? That's what you had to do? Yeah. Ooh, a trap. Okay, what is the trap trapping?
Why, why is this pointed here? Is it trapping something? Oh, it's trapping this. I thought Hank was meant to set off these things. Oh, activate pressure plates. Hey, Hank, come here. Yep, there we go. Hank, you're my uh, pressure plate set offer. You're you're gonna be setting off traps for me. It's good, honest work. Should be proud of it. Extra forty-four. Why was forty-four gained? I got extra experience, but I don't know why. I'm kind of OP for this uh, for this area of the map, which makes sense. This is like the first dungeon, right? A dungeon map and a pawn shop back room key. Isn't that the quest item? I thought this was like... I thought this was like on floor 8. I just found it on floor 2. Well, alright. Minka didn't know what the hell she's talking about. Aw, oh, shit. What I need is a way back now. Oh, okay. This doesn't look suspicious at all. And it's not. Weird. My first kill with a fireball. It's kind of disappointing. Doesn't have quite the impact as the shotgun. Nah, nah I don't like that at all. I'm going to switch this back to uh, eyeball. And just switch this to nothing. Also, I have grenades. I wonder why I haven't used those before. Huh. We'll try on the next guy. Hello. Are there bad guys here? Ah, there's one. Hold still while I try this on you. Wow. Okay. Is everybody alright? <laughs> oh, it can only enhance once. Good to know. Not that I use these swords very much. So uncivilized. Goth ring. Magical ring. Plus to defense. Strength. And this will give me defense. Whoa, what is this? Wait, what is that? What does that mean? Weapon broken or invalid. Oh... I need this ring because it gives me the plus of dexterity that allows me to use my shotgun. This one too. Oh, I'm kind of stuck until I level up. Uh, good to know. Hey, Nina. You'll never leave my side, will you, Nina? Alright. I'm kind of at this point where I really don't need you to. So, Nina, Hank, go loot. Okay. Okay, sometimes you gotta travel down to travel up. Worst case scenario? Eh, I don't know. Oh, I leveled up somewhere down the line. I also have better night sight, whatever that means. That's cool. It's kind of what I wanted it for. I'm told that level five secret sight makes it so that you have full night vision and you're you're okay. You just, just stop then. Okay. I don't think anything's gonna kill me just yet. So 
Let's try out this dungeon map. Ah, and there's the exit. I'm not going to dick around, I'm going to head straight for the exit. Since I've pissed off everybody, that's no good. Anybody else want some of this? That's what I thought. Except for this guy. Oh boy. That's weird, I don't have... I'm not empty. I have a spot right there. That was bizarre. Uh-oh. What? What was that? No, oh, okay. Oh! They're after me from all sides. Uh, I guess in the meantime, I'll take a look at this. Go! Oh. <laughs> what? Ah, <laughs> uh, I think this is worth some. There we go. Can't. Can can I can I use it? Awesome. What does it use as bullets? Oh, it uses the silver bullets. Cool. Who cares about honor? I got guns. Hmm. I'm also got a way out of here. Okay. That was actually a little cool. Hank, what'd you get for me? Nothing. Well, let's build up your strength. I feel stronger. You should. Now, come over here. Actually, you know what? Follow me. We're getting out of this hell hole. This really fun hellhole. Why do I even have silver bullets? A quick note. See how I'm switching these two bullets around? Remember this for later. Huh. You are so good to me, large sword. Oh, and crossbow. I'm gonna miss you most of all. Sup, Minka? How are you coming on the task we talked about earlier? Done. Great, thank you. Yes. Now about that orchid. Okay, write this code down. It will unlock the botany lab safe. They're doing some pretty crazy stuff in there. Gene splicing, herb healing, blood fusion. If there's any blood orchids around, they would have them in there. Cool. Actually, I don't owe you, but I'll make you feel like I owe you. Okay, there's one more thing that I said I'd do during this particular session. Um, I, I hope this isn't real, but we're going to try it out anyway. Basically, someone told me in the comments that there is a lackluster, like, Easter egg in the arena. And I kind of want to see what this is. First, let me see what's upstairs. 
Never mind. Nothing is upstairs. Apparently, if I walk in the corner here, there is like some guy or something. Not this way. Not this way. Not this way. Hmm. No? Well, I thought it was in one of these corners. Apparently I'm supposed to walk in these corners. Maybe it's one of these back corners here. What? Okay, that's what it was. And there's a guy here. Oh, he's a wolf man. What's up, wolf man? Hey. Hey. I'm not trying to stop you or something. What is, even is this place? It's got a map or something. Oh, it's got a note. Ah. <sighs> All right, remember how I switched the silver nitrate and the UV bullets around? Well, as it turns out, the order in which the bullets are in your inventory controls which of the bullets you have in your gun. So with that said... Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> what? Somebody asked, is the UV bullets like a grenade? I'm gonna have to go with yes. Oh man, where, where even am I? It, this, it's in my crypt, my original crypt. Okay, this is a good enough spot to stop. <laughs> okay, so silver bullets, UV bullets. Let's try switching those. <laughs> um, if you guys know what vampire movie that is, go ahead and leave me a message. But otherwise, I think I'm done for the day. Oh, uh, what even? I can't. I have lost the ability to even.